A boy's sudden earache turns into a thrilling mystery. When Dad spots something unusual, he rushes to call the doctor. But what's really causing the pain? Ow! My ear! Tommy groaned, holding the side of his head. His dad, Mark, busy sorting through bills at the dining room table, barely heard him at first. But when Tommy walked in with a pained expression, he knew something was wrong. What's wrong, buddy? Mark asked, putting down the stack of papers he'd been organizing. Tommy's lip trembled. My ear hurts a lot, Dad. It felt weird at school, but now it's really painful. Let me see, Mark said, gently tilting Tommy's head. Everything seemed fine at first, but when he looked closer, he felt a chill. Inside Tommy's ear was something that shouldn't be there. Hold still, Tommy, Mark said, trying to stay calm. I need to take a closer look. He grabbed his phone and turned on the flashlight. When he shined the light in Tommy's ear, Mark's eyes widened in shock. What on earth? He muttered. In Tommy's narrow ear canal, Mark saw something small and dark. At first, he thought it might be earwax, but as he looked closer, he realized quickly that the object was moving, wriggling deeper into Tommy's ear canal. Mark tried to keep his voice steady to avoid alarming his son. Tommy, there's something in there we need to check out right away. Tommy squirmed. What is it, Dad? What do you see? But Mark was already calling the doctor, his hands shaking a little. We need to go to the doctor right away, he said. As the phone rang... Mark tried to keep his voice low and calm to avoid scaring Tommy further. When the familiar voice of the doctor answered, Mark explained the situation, trying not to be too graphic not to scare his child, but enough to let the doctor know that it was serious. All right, Mark, Dr. Anderson said firmly. Don't try to remove it yourself. Any attempt could potentially cause more harm. Bring Tommy to the clinic right away. Neither of them knew this was just the start of a crazy adventure. The drive to the clinic felt like forever for Tommy. Every bump in the road made his ear hurt worse. Mark kept looking at him in the rearview mirror, worry written all over his face. We're almost there, champ, Mark said, trying to sound cheerful. Just hang in there. Tommy nodded, but inside his mind raced. What could be in his ear? How did it get there? And why did it hurt so much? When they arrived, Tommy saw Dr. Anderson waiting at the entrance. Dr. Anderson had always been friendly, but this evening he looked serious. Come in, you two, Dr. Anderson said, leading them inside. Let's solve this ear mystery. In the exam room, Tommy sat nervously on the table. Dr. Anderson checked his ear with an otoscope. Hmm, the doctor said. That's strange. Dr. Anderson looked puzzled. Well, there's definitely something in there, but I can't tell what it is. We might need to use a special tool to take a closer look. When he saw Tommy's eyes grow wide, the doctor smiled. Nothing to worry about, Tommy. We have a tiny camera that can go into your ear and show us exactly what's in there. It won't hurt at all. It might tickle, though. As the doctor went to get the camera, Tommy turned to his dad. How could something get in my ear without me noticing? Mark shrugged, looking just as confused. I don't know, buddy, but we'll figure it out. Neither of them could imagine just how surprising the answer would be. When Dr. Anderson came back, he was pushing a cart with a small screen and a long, thin tool. All right, Tommy, he said. Let's take a closer look. Tommy stayed still as the doctor gently put the tiny camera in his ear. A blurry picture appeared on the screen and slowly became clear. What on earth? Dr. Anderson said as he adjusted the camera. Mark leaned in, squinting at the screen. Is that what I think it is? Tommy couldn't wait any longer. What is it? What do you see? Dr. Anderson turned to Tommy, smiling with surprise. Well, it looks like you have a tiny insect stuck in your ear. It looks like a tiny moth. Tommy's eyes widened. A moth? In my ear? But how did that get in there? As Dr. Anderson carefully extracted the insect, Tommy's mind raced back through the events of the day. Suddenly, a memory flashed into his mind. Oh, he exclaimed. I remember now. During a recess in school, we were playing near the big oak tree, and I felt something tickle my ear. I thought it was just a leaf, but I guess it must have been the moth flying in. Mark laughed, feeling relieved, glad that the mystery was solved and that it wasn't anything more serious. Well, that's certainly an unexpected visitor. I think we've all learned an important lesson about being careful when playing outside, haven't we? Tommy nodded sheepishly. Definitely, Dad. I'll be more aware of bugs from now on. Dr. Anderson smiled as he successfully removed the tiny moth. Here's our little troublemaker, he said, showing them the insect in a small container. It's not uncommon for insects to accidentally fly into ears, especially when playing outdoors. As they left the clinic, Tommy's ear was feeling much better. On the ride home, Tommy started thinking about all the strange things people could get stuck in their ears. Curious, he asked his dad, Dad, I wonder what other weird things doctors have found stuck in people's ears? Mark laughed, feeling more relaxed now. I'm sure doctors have seen some pretty odd stuff. 
Maybe when we get home, we could research some of the more intriguing incidents. It might prove both educational and entertaining. By the time they pulled into the driveway, Tommy couldn't wait to tell his mom about his earache escapade. As he recounted the saga, mom listened with a mix of concern. Tommy said, building up to the big reveal, Dr. Anderson used this special ear camera, Tommy explained, his eyes wide with excitement. And that's when they found the moth. Can you believe it? Sarah, Tommy's mom, shook her head in disbelief. That must have been quite scary for you, honey. How are you feeling now? Much better, Tommy replied. But it made me realize how little I know about a lot of things, like ears and how our bodies work. Mark nodded thoughtfully. You know, this could be a good opportunity for all of us to learn something new. Why don't we do some research on ear health and safety? It might help prevent something like this from happening again. Absolutely, Sarah said. We can each research different aspects, ear anatomy, common problems, prevention tips, and then put it all together. As Tommy headed to bed that night, he felt the mix of emotions. The day had been scary and uncomfortable, but it had also sparked a new curiosity in him. He was excited to learn more and to share that knowledge with others. The following day, as Tommy headed to school, his backpack bouncing, he felt excited. He couldn't wait to tell his friends and teach them about ear safety and being careful around bugs. All day, Tommy paid more attention to his ears than ever before. During lunch, Tommy's friends gathered around, eager to hear about his emergency room adventure. As he told the story, he emphasized the importance of being aware of your surroundings, especially when playing outside near trees or bushes. As the school day came to a close, Tommy's mind was racing with curiosity about the human body, especially the fascinating complexities of the ear. What started as a frightening experience had sparked an intense interest in learning more. Arriving home, Tommy found his parents engrossed in conversation at the kitchen table. Their voices hushed as he entered, replaced by warm smiles of welcome. How was school, champ? Mark asked, gesturing for Tommy to join them. As Tommy sat down at the dinner table, his parents exchanged a glance. Tommy shrugged. It was okay. We learned about the human body in science class. Sarah nodded encouragingly. That must have been interesting, especially after your recent experience. Yeah, I guess, Tommy replied, pushing his food around his plate. His parents shared another look, concern evident in their expressions. Over the next few days, Tommy's parents noticed subtle changes in his behavior. He seemed more withdrawn and less enthusiastic about activities he once enjoyed. At first, they attributed it to the lingering effects of his ear incident, but as time passed, they began to suspect there was more to the story. One evening, as Mark was walking past Tommy's bedroom, he overheard his son's voice. Peering through the partially open door, he saw Tommy sitting on his bed, hugging his knees and talking softly to his favorite stuffed bear, Mr. Fluffles. I don't know, Mr. Fluffles, Tommy was saying, his voice trembling slightly. What if it happens again? What if next time it's worse? Mark's brow furrowed. He made a mental note to discuss this with Sarah later. The next day at school, Tommy's science teacher, Mrs. Chen, noticed his distraction during class. As the other students rushed out for recess, she called him aside. Tommy, is everything all right? She asked gently. You seem a bit out of sorts lately. Tommy hesitated, then the words tumbled out. I'm scared, Mrs. Chen. Ever since that thing with my ear, I keep worrying about what else could go wrong with my body. What if I get really sick and don't know it? Mrs. Chen's expression softened. Oh, Tommy, it's normal to feel that way after a scary experience. But our bodies are amazing things, and they're usually pretty good at letting us know when something's wrong. Tommy nodded, feeling a glimmer of hope. At home, Mark and Sarah decided to address their concerns. They found Tommy in the backyard, half-heartedly bouncing a basketball. Son, Mark began, we've noticed you've been a bit down lately. Is there something you want to talk about? Tommy looked at his parents, seeing the worry in their eyes. Slowly, he opened up about his fears, the constant worry about his health that had been bothering him since the ear incident. Sarah pulled him into a hug. Oh, honey, why didn't you tell us sooner? I didn't want you to think I was being silly, Tommy mumbled. Your feelings are never silly, Mark assured him. How about we make an appointment with Dr. Anderson? Not because anything's wrong, but just to help you feel better. Tommy agreed, feeling a little relieved. The following week, Tommy had a checkup with Dr. Anderson and was given a clean bill of health. As they were leaving, Dr. Anderson smiled at Tommy. On the drive home, Tommy's mind was buzzing with possibilities. What began as a simple earache turned into a journey of discovery, laughter, and family bonding. Tommy learned about safety, the wonders of the human body, and how to turn a scary moment into something positive. What do you think about Tommy's ear adventure? Have you ever had something unusual happen that turned into an unexpected learning experience? Share your stories in the comments below 
And don't forget to like and subscribe for more family-friendly stories of triumph over life's little challenges.